In this video, we're going to talk about why it is better for a startup to follow a red ocean strategy rather than a blue ocean strategy. A few years ago, there was a book on the market, and it is still on the market, that made a case that it's better to go for a blue ocean rather than for a red ocean. Where they said that a blue ocean is an area where you will create your own demand, where you don't have a lot of competition, rather than a red ocean, which is a market where you have a lot of competition, uh, where you have a lot of trade-off between value and price, and uh, where it is, as in other words, very hard to compete. However, today I'm going to tell you why it is important to follow a red ocean strategy as a startup. Typically, a market looks like this. You have a number of big incumbents and they serve the majority of the market. It can be 80%, 90% of the market. But at the fringes of the market, there is an underserved segment because those incumbents, they have more or less a one size fits all with a number of customations but rather uh, one size fits all and you cannot serve the entire market with this. And imagine the following, that you enter this market, you go to one of these underserved segments, you define what is your ideal customer profile and you build a solution for this. Those customers, they know they have a problem. And when you come with a problem that is fit for purpose, that is made for their market segment, that is made for their niche and solves their pains, then you fight in that red ocean strategy, but you won't have any competition because you have that exact solution that they are looking for. As a salesperson, I, that would be a rather easy sell. I can tell about, yes, I know you have a problem, the customer knows it, and number two, I can show and demonstrate that I have the right solution for them. Rather than a salesperson in a blue ocean, you have to convince that the customer has a problem, maybe something that they have never thought about. So this is one sale they have to make. And the second sale they have to make is that you're the best solution. Who will guarantee that you offer the best solution for a problem they don't even know they had? And this is for me the case why it is such a good idea to enter a red ocean strategy. Look at uh, disruptors. Uh, so, so don't confuse disruption with uh, choosing a market. Airbnb, they disrupted the rental market, the vacation rental market. They flipped the model and they disrupted it. Uber, they disrupted the, the personal uh, logistics. If you look at uh, WhatsApp, they disrupted the messaging market. If you look at uh, knowing, knowing uh, technologies, uh, the 3D printing market, what will they disrupt? They will disrupt the logistics market, the, disruption, the distribution market. So again, don't confuse strategy and how you approach the market uh, with choosing a different market. Follow a red ocean strategy and be very successful as a, as a startup. So what are you doing? Are you following a red ocean strategy? Are you following a blue ocean strategy? Let me know in the comments. And if you like that video, don't forget to subscribe.